It was Easter time in 1523 when 12 nuns escaped from Maria Trone Abbey. One of them was 24-year-old Katarina von Bora. A crucial character in the escape of these young women was the reformer Martin Luther, a prominent public figure since the publication of his theses in 1517, Luther's judgment on monastic vows found an audience behind the thick walls of Maria Thrawn Abbey. Nevertheless, not even Katharina von Bora herself would have imagined that she would one day marry the man who facilitated her escape and come to be known as Die Lutherin, or Luther's wife. When Martin Luther died on the 18th of February, 1546, Katharina's circumstances took a sharp turn. Her only existing personal testimonial to her sister-in-law offers a glimpse of her broken heart. I can neither eat nor drink, not even sleep. And if I had a principality or an empire, I wouldn't feel so bad about losing it as I feel now that our dear Lord God has taken this beloved and dear man from me, and not only from me, but from the whole world. When I think about it, I can neither talk nor write in all my suffering and crying. Now Katarina was alone, and not only in her grief. Even while she enjoyed the protection and acceptance of her husband, her independence of mind and self-confidence were often challenging for her contemporaries, and tolerated only because of Luther's leading role in the Reformation. Now that he was dead, there were some who were eager to settle old scores.